and welcome back to the finale of the Sonic Forces uh, playthrough. And we're going to be you playing could through. Say, you you could say it's our final judgment of this game. I needed to get that out yeah. before it. <laughs> okay, I actually really like that. That, that. that was clever. I like that. That was cheeky. This is probably the sh this is probably the shortest, easiest, and most boring level in the entire game. I don't know why this couldn't have just been a cutscene. Hey, you like saw blades? Yeah, that's I pretty much the entire level. I love uh, Terminal Velocity from Sonic Colors. <laughs> I sure do love levels this big hallway where you run towards nothing. Also, this line coming up here from Amy or Tails. This is where Eggman built Infinite. What do you mean built Infinite? Infinite was a, a regular... Infinite's not a robot. He gave, Android. he gave Infinite the Phantom Ruby, sure, but he didn't, like, invent Infinite. He didn't build him. Well, Infinite, Infinite wasn't Infinite until he put until he put his mask on, until he got his power. So he, he built his Listen. persona, he built his character. Listen, I'm pretty sure you are putting more thought into it now than the writers did in any capacity. <laughs> yeah, probably. Alright, th th this track playing right now kind of slaps, just a little bit. This is kind of nice. Man, this reminds me of Delta's And what are we what, what what are we destroying here? Fan Ruby power generators. We went over this already. But 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 they're just Isn't Phantom it Rubies. Bad that their lasers are going through them. Shouldn't that like <laughs> Yeah, you think. You think shooting your own generator with laser is bad. Wing Fortress Zone, Austin. Built a laser pointing down in the middle of his own fucking airship. Although Eggman uses the. <laughs> oh, <dude. laughs> is this a custom? Is this a custom mini? Oh my god. Do you have a picture of a chair? Do you have a picture of a chair? Do you have a picture of a chair? Oh, no, that's not too good. Stand! Tails gets trolled. Oh, that's Tails gets trolled, man. Oh, we gotta show you Tails gets trolled. No, 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 no. Least... I know what it's from. I know what it's from. Why are you I wearing the Panic shirt? Oh, I can't remember when I put that on, but I um, I you certainly have it on. You definitely didn't put that on before that episode. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't have that level. Excalibur Sonic? Excalibur Sonic with a top. Oh, hat. you wish. You fucking wish. Yo, I also like how the game. before even before Sonic Forces Unleashed, we actually got a glimpse of like the Sonic social media team modeling out that Sonic model on the shirt. They posted that without context, and it actually ended up in Forces later on as DLC. Speaking of DLC, uh, before the before we're uh, done with the game, can we talk about how about that fucking um the Super Sonic DLC? I had to pay two dollars for Super Sonic. No, you didn't. Yeah, you did. Before, before they made it free, because everybody complained about it, rightfully so. And it was gonna go we away. Did it. Eggman's army is officially oh, was it a limited time thing? It was supposed it to be. Was. was it? Wow. It was supposed to be a limited time thing for free, and then you had to pet. And then people got mad because uh, that was stupid. Yeah, fuck that. Also, uh, Eggman incorporated the Phantom Ruby into the Death Egg robot. Okay, one, I thought the Phantom Ruby, I thought we just destroyed the Phantom Ruby. Uh, and B, I thought we just destroyed the Phantom Ruby's power source. Can't believe everyone's dying. And apparently now there are multiple infinites with multiple Phantom Rubies. Yeah, you know what? You know, you know, that's a that's a good question. If Infinite can create multiple things of whatever, why doesn't he just create multiple versions of himself with Phantom Rubies? You keep asking the same question with the same answer because he's cocky. Why does the Joker cause, why why is the Joker constantly fighting fucking Batman? Cause he's insane and he's a fucking egomaniac. You wanna know how much of an egomaniac he is? He he's willing to fight Batman but not the IRS. <laughs> I do love that clip. Classic Sonic animation there. What the fuck is that? He's not impressed. <laughs> oh, th th this line coming up. <laughs> It sounds like Roger Craig Smith was running out of breath in the booth. Is like, can, can we do that take one more time, please? No, the game ships tomorrow. Oh, okay. I like how Tails just stood in the background. Tails has done absolutely nothing of value this entire game. He fi he fixed Omega, kind of. All right. Off screen. After he fixed Omega, after giving up on fixing Omega. <laughs> True. Yeah. Yeah. You are right. <laughs> 
This fight is okay. It's the design. I like the design. I also like how the war is still going on in the background. But there's, yeah. as far as I know, there's no, there's no Eggman ships. They're all just. All just, uh, Although they were so the ground. they were so they were so out of ideas that they just reused the egg dragoon fight from earlier, with just like hitting rocks back. Also, I love how Rue said that no ordinary weapon can damage it. Now we are literally throwing fucking rocks at this thing. <laughs> it's not an ordinary weapon. I will say this it's is probably rock. the best designed robot for this game. Yeah, it, looks like, I, I, it looks threatening. I, it it has a it's design. Cool. It's no, cool, it, it, but I wish it wasn't called the Death Egg Robot. The, it's, Where I, the I, I say it's the best by nature of it's the only robot in the game that was designed. Yeah, Where I guess you're all right, because the new egg pods in this game from? suck. Where is the music in this coming from? Why did we go to all epic all of a sudden? We went from beeps and boops to this. Yeah. Hello? <laughs> Also, the Wispin that I have right now, I have a Wispin where whenever you stomp, you go a little faster. So that's why you see me stomping all over the place, because I, I'm just, like, moving. Wait, it, that drop dash, basically? Kind of, yeah. But for the Avatar, that makes it cooler. Also, a little tip for this boss fight, hitting that red spot on the chest does more damage than hitting the fist. I like it, Kudji. Second, second, I knew where I was going. Is that, that happened to me. Yeah, yeah. Everybody dies to that attack on their first playthrough. Me and Watch included. out! It's fucking Watch bullshit. Out. He's up to something. <laughs> Watch out! He's up to something. Can we talk about how many people died during that? Watch out! He's up to something. I swear to God, it must have got me like two game overs back in the day. There was a uh, there was a live stream that I saw, um, like, trending on Twitter where somebody died over and over and over again to the Egg Hornet fight. And then they thought they won, and then they, they didn't know what was happening uh, when Tikal said, Watch out, he's up to something. They just stood there, and then they died. And it was game over, and they had to do the whole thing, level all over again. Uh, Pain. That's so crazy. The fact, I, I, I respect the fact that we're talking about Sonic Adventure right now so much, I'm going to forgive. I'm How gonna did I die here? The fact, I'm going to forgive the fact <laughs> that you Ooh. called it the egg, the egg Hornet and not Egg Viper. Because Egg, egg Viper is... Egg Egg Viper's in what? Egg Viper's the final one with watch out, he's up to something. Egg Hornet's the first thing you fight with the drills. Oh shit. Oh well, uh, I guess I'm not a true Sonic Adventure. Sonic, fan, cake, right? Sonic Gatekeeper, my ass. <laughs> <laughs> watch this my is, video, this is guys. Creepy. I remember, I remember this part of the boss fight leaked ahead of release. This part's kind of creepy with like the beating heart. I kind of like that. That's cool. Sonic Horror Game One. Yeah, also, right I died. I, I, I died multiple times. That's why you saw that fade to black. That's also why the timer is at eight minutes. This shouldn't be called a death egg robot. And also, hey, it's the trope. This, this, running, this is, running down this a hallway. Literally, this literally, literally isn't death. This literally isn't death egg robot. This is the Nega Wisp. No, it's. it's this is it the Nega Wisp like, armor. It look. It looks like it. This is literally just the final yeah. boss of Sonic Colors. Which, again, to be fair, like every. Boost Sonic Final Boss is literally the same thing. I do think this is cool that you get to play as all three of them, though. Yeah. I guess, yeah, it's kind of cool. Also, this song it, is awesome. Yeah, this yeah, this song reminds me of, um, Undertale. Yeah. Very prog rock, very, mm. uh... I just don't like how in the soundtrack, um... Uh, I just don't like how in the soundtrack, uh, that's available on, like, iTunes and Spotify, they have this track, but it's preceded by the, um, the other two phases. So if I want to hear the best phase of the fight, I have to listen to the other two boring phases. Yeah. Is this fist bump or is this its own thing? I feel like this is, this is its own melody. Like, this is its own I stuff. think this is its own thing. It might have some quirks of, uh, fist bump in it, but if it does, I don't know. One one different thing about this boss fight from the colors boss fight is that you can't you can only like move in the three lanes, and you can't move just like freely left and right. I want to make a point that when Otani plays guitar in the soundtrack, it's really fucking good. And it shows that he should play it more. Yeah. Otani is a very talented composer. I was still I was still blown away when I heard that the very first thing he did for Sonic was the knuckles raps. 
Like instrumentally, yeah, that yeah, is yeah. so different than everything else yeah. he's ever done. Okay, <laughs> fuck it. Damage boost, fuck it. Listen, I'm 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 halfway through the boss fight. I can find more rings later. Yeah. Okay. I do like how this battle also takes place in no space, kind of showing how the Phantom Ruby's just going fucking crazy at this point. Also, is this supposed to be Eggman or is this supposed to be the Phantom Ruby going crazy? Because I, I, I guess it's Eggman, but I always assumed like, I mean, it's my 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 fan fiction, you know, head cannon, But I thought like it was like this thing inside, like the Death Egg robot was the thing that Eggman was piloting that we just fought, and the Phantom Ruby kind of pulled a perfect chaos and said, "Fuck this shit, I'll do it myself." And this uh, is like the, some kind of Phantom. Well, Ruby I don't think the Phantom like, Ruby is inherently evil. No. I, I do think it would be kind of cool, though, if it was the Phantom Ruby being, out, like, overloaded and out of control. Again, being that, like, fuck, fuck this shit, I'll do it myself. I, I definitely don't think it is, though. I think it's just oh, yeah, yeah. had a spider mech feature thing. You see, you see, that would be, the, that, that would be a, you see, Austin, that would be a cool idea, and this game doesn't have that many of those. What do you mean, yeah, Austin, no. that was a cool idea? I said that first! Yeah, well, Austin we was the last one to speak, so fuck you. Man, story of my fucking life, man. I swear <laughs> to God. Wouldn't it be cool? Yeah, but I said it louder. Yeah, all right. You got it. <laughs> Which is ironic, because most of the time you say shit louder, so. Yeah, because have I'm let Austin, credits. Let, let the man have the day in the sun, Christ. No, no sun. It's hot outside. That's no gross. sun, no sun. Only Final Fantasy fourteen. Yeah. That, 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 that has been your, that that has been your way of life. For the entire year. Did yeah. you guys know that Final Fantasy XIV right now is free if you try right now? Yeah, there's a free trial that lets you play all the way You're up muted. to level 60 You're muted. and You're includes muted. the Heaven Sword You're expansion. You're muted. I can't hear you. I'm sorry. I could hear him. I know. I muted him. I muted no. Him. All right. Well. Yeah. Listen. All I'm saying is it's a good game. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Wait. You didn't include the rest of that clip. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, because we, we went off screen oh, and we defeated him. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, I'm a little triggered. You did it. Although, no, no, I think, I think, no, 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 I think that if you go back and go through frame by frame, we are running when we go, when we boost into the Death Egg robot. Oh, uh, you can barely tell. <laughs> Yo, Pete, you're fucking, uh, Chuck Norris beard in that clip, by the way. <laughs> that my man was, my man was, oh, it's not my man was definitely, uh, my man was definitely wild man beard. That shit was kind of crazy. Yeah, I don't live that life anymore, but, you know, it was a, it was a worthwhile experiment. Also, I love how in that clip of us doing the triple boost, we all hit each other in the face instead of actually high-fiving each other. Do we? Like, we all I miss. Yeah, that. yeah, yeah, like, like, we all miss. Or at least I miss. I think I hit you. <laughs> Pretty sure me and Austin hit. Okay, well, then we probably all hit each other, then. <laughs> we all oh. missed. That's what happens when you don't match square fast enough. That, yeah. That's what Knuckles we Knuckles knew we would do it. Knuckles knew. You know, the guy who killed people. <laughs> the expert war strategist. There's still Eggman ships. There's still Eggman ships just chilling. Totally not Michael Jackson's song, by the way. This song is literally just uh, Man in the Mirror, I swear to God. What, this like, piano song playing right now? No, the final song. Well, this is the oh, okay. intro into it. I mean, One it's last bass bump! Yeah, 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 they did it. They, they did the joke. They did the theme song thing, guys. They finally did it. In the dead. fucking... <laughs> <laughs> At the risk of a content ID. <laughs> Knuckles, no, no, Knuckles in that picture. <laughs> you should have, like... Really right, badly photoshopped the rest of them. I couldn't find a render that actually had the rest of them, so I just said fuck it. We need to fix the real world we all live in. It was worth a content ID, I'm not gonna lie. Come on. True dad. Yeah. Also, I like how Sonic is all like, alright guys, we gotta rebuild the world now, let's go! And in the comics he's like, nah, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna fuck off now, bye. You know, I completely forgot Charmy B was in this video game. Doesn't he have like even talk one line? He doesn't. Like, he might. I think he talks like once or twice. Yeah. Star Team, woo! I, I, I genuinely think Charmy only exists because they wanted to use Vector and SPO. Yeah, pretty much. Yo, where's my point and click uh, Team Chaotix game? That's what I want. 
Team Chaotix deserve Hold more. On. Just, just do Sam and Max, but Team Chaotix. That, that sounds like fire. Like, you're joking. <laughs> that sounds fire. Yeah, man, just do a Sam and Max game, but have uh, the Chaotix. It'd be great. Anyway, um, we're at finally at the credits, so should we go round table, final thoughts on Sonic Forces? I'm out of well, breath I... right now. Somebody else go first. Game well, I... not good, but game also not as bad as people say. People are way too hard on this game. It's just lame. Like, it's it's really just not anything of note in any capacity. It's, it's, it's half-baked, like I said. Story, I, I, I keep bringing up the story, and I know nobody fucking cares, but I, I think a story, the story is such a good catalyst, not catalyst, uh, we call it a, a good, uh, comparison to the rest of everything else when it comes to gameplay, music, everything, is that it's so like, like, it's there. Like, you see what they're trying to do. They just don't do it. You know, it, they should have went more on the story. They should have went more, you know, spent more time with the development of the game, with the level design, with the music. You know, I, I, I think, I think, you know, it just half-baked if they would have spent more time on it. I feel like it could have been better. But at the same time, I feel like this game was just from the get-go kind of whack. Like, I feel like, I feel like it was an idea. And you're like, fuck yeah, let's do it. And then halfway through, like, we don't know what we're doing. Like it's it feels... almost like it's almost like they put a team that had never really worked on Sonic level design to do the, the level yeah, design. Yeah, I think all of them are like new or started with like Lost World or something in terms of the this level designers for this game. A lot. A lot. <laughs> they were like, oh shit, wait, we have to make we have to make platforming because we don't have a run button anymore. Shit, what do we do? <laughs> Where's our run button? Guys, run button. You know, on the topic of Lost World, I remember um, uh, in the Brain Scratch Let's Play for Lost World that they did, Ted, he said something along the lines of, um, like, this game had really good ideas and really great potential, but j j just to cut to the point what, what he, of what he said, I don't like the levels. Just th That's what it all came down to, just I don't like the levels. Um, and I don't, I don't agree with that. I think Lost World had a lot of really great ideas and some good level design and some good controls. I'm that weird guy that likes Lost World, okay? But I think here, like, that criticism absolutely holds water. Because there are a lot of I good like, ideas. I like the I OCs. Just, I like the, uh, I like the addition of the Wispins to, for added replayability. I like the premise of the story. I like the music. I like the more serious tone. I, you know what, you know what, I, I will even say, I kind of like the idea of capitalizing on the success of Sonic Mania and adding in classic Sonic because generations worked why wouldn't this but it's just the levels are so bland and boring all of them are straight lines and there's really not a whole lot of reason to go back and replay any of these levels and you know the boost formula has been around since like arguably 2005 but it was in 3d in 2008 and the criticism that it's always received that it was always boost to wind, and I never found that to be true. And unleashed in colors and in, in generations, I never found that to be true. Except for this one game. This is the one game that brought that criticism to actual like fruition and made it hold water. And I hate it for that. Um, I do agree with Austin in the sense that a lot of people do criticize this game and compare it unfairly to like games like 06 and Shadow, and I don't think that's fair at all. This game is just mind-numbingly mediocre, and that's all there is to it. But some people really find the mediocrity of the game, like, insulting, because the groundwork was there, and it just didn't come together. And in that, I can understand it. But, you know, in a, in a void, in a vacuum, taking the game by itself, it's just whatever. I just want to point out, this was like five minutes ago now, but I really like that Jun Sinoa's credit is guitar infinite yeah. related songs yeah really oh it's all otani otani did every guitar bit yeah no jinsono was only for mm. uh he, infinite. My, my man's was too busy working on team sonic racing baby the game with the better soundtrack oh my god why am i blanking where is it before we're we most of, weren't most of the same people involved at least some of the same people. For Lost World or oh, soundtrack? I knew it. No, for 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 Team Sonic Racing. Like I know. It um. Well, they brought in a, a Jun Sonoy was like the main supervisor for the soundtrack of uh, no, of Team Sonic no, Racing. No, no, no. Hang on. No. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Call me out. Call me out here. You're talking about your edit. Oh what? Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> 
I can't hear it now. I, 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 I mute the gameplay so that only your voices end up in the recording, but yes, this what is... What were you uh... talking about, Joe Sonoy? I was too busy, I was too busy just realizing that Quentin Flynn voices Silver, he's also Ryder in Goku. He's also Axel in Kingdom Hearts, but we don't know how long since apparently he's a he's a groomer. He's also, so that's he's cool. also yeah, he's also not a very good human being. Yeah, he, yeah. You know, way to join, way to join the um the leagues of Vic Minoya, whatever his name is. Vic, you know you know who I'm talking about. I just can't pronounce his last name because it's stupid. We're talking about Justin Roy, I totally was not paying attention. Austin's looking up something about Team Sonic Racing, but I don't know what. No, I what? No, I was just saying. Oh, I thought right. you were. Wasn't it, like, weren't at least a chunk of the same people? Wasn't Otani on at least a couple songs for... Otani was, Otani was on a couple of songs, and uh, Jun Sonoy, Hyper Potions, um, T. Lopes was on a, was on a couple I of mean, songs. I mean, I knew it had more people, but I, I thought... Weren't at least some of the main people that did Forces soundtrack also on Team Sonic Racing? I think a lot of it was Jun Sonoy. It definitely feels like Jun Sonoy. Like, without a doubt. Yeah. The yeah, Sonic Adventure music experience, that being Jun's uh, band and Team Sonic Racing, he, um, he, he, it's like this, it's just like the same with Sonic Adventure 1 and 2. Everyone always talks about Jun, you know, making those soundtracks. And while he definitely is the guy, he has a bunch of people working under him. So, like, you could, by technicality, say that all the Knuckles raps are Jun's music because Otani had to go through Jun to put it in the game. But you wouldn't really say Jun made that song. So like you wouldn't you wouldn't say like you wouldn't say that Jun Sonoy really worked on Sonic Mania because he did the guitar part of the ending credits music. I wouldn't really say that. So mm. yeah, Jun Jun I mean I still have to take away from him, mind you. But to answer your question, yes, in Team Sonic Racing, Jun is the main dude and there are people that work under him, like Otani and why should they say work under him? More like hey do you want to go make songs with us? So like T. Lopes, um, the one woman that does the violin in San, not San Room, Boo's House, uh, you know, everybody else. Um, damn, damn guys, wasn't this such a good 26th anniversary game? Probably better than a 15th anniversary game with Sonic Riders, their 10th anniversary. Well, the 15th anniversary was, um, was 06 and Riders. And Rivals? We don't uh, talk about the 15th anniversary. Those were no, the we teen don't. years for Sonic. Like, no, Those we were don't. awkward and angsty. I, I like Riders. Riders. I also, I also like Riders. Riders is actually is a, a very, very. There's good. nobody in this call that dislikes Riders. Oh, I didn't know that. So well, listen, guys, guys, why don't we, why don't we meet up and play fucking Riders then? Because you will get fucking nobody's mad. Playing. Nobody's playing Sonic Riders in 2021. You're right. I'm too busy playing Sonic Zero Gravity. No, Riders is way more fun to play okay, multiplayer. Okay, that's where I draw the line. R Zero Gravity is good, like, but I prefer Riders just eh. altogether. If I'm gonna play a Riders game, I'm gonna play the original, or I'm gonna play Team Sonic Racing or All Stars Racing Transform. I want to race those aren't... Sonic. Yes, no, as no. in the only the only Sonic Riders game I would really want to play is the original. Free Riders. Eh. Connect? Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll pull Austin, out my Austin, Austin, Connect. Austin, boot him from the call from saying that. Boot him from the fucking call. It doesn't work like that. <laughs> can I boot him from the call? Let me check. Well, actually, maybe I can I can remove him from I the group. I was joking. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to. <laughs> oh, guys, post credits cutscene like the Marvel movies do. Yeah, but people actually care about Marvel. Finally. To this you endless still. battle. People Everyone still do. Go back home and relax. Gonna keep it real with the chief. That new season coming out. It kind of looks kind of. No I put the controller ah, down I, I so mean, I, long I, during the credits. Least, I mean, we're gonna get into Marvel discourse. At least from what's come out, it's been pretty decent. I've seen everything's come out of the new. Uh, whatever. I'll believe it when I see it. When I see Doctor Doom, he remade for the fourth time. It'll happen eventually. The first time I saw you stumbling around. No this guy is, uh, Vector guy voices Vector, same guy voices Shida. I've changed my mind about you. Is he? Yeah. Vector I casually walking looks routine. so awkward. <laughs> him running in, in, like, him running in Heroes good. looks amazing. I love that animation. It's like, no. yo, he coming. He no, coming for really you. Dis she really disrespected Knuckles like that. You serious? <laughs> he said, boy! 
Why is Shadow even here? Ed? Why is Tails? Why is Tails suddenly brave enough to give this fucking speech, but he can't do shit anywhere else? Yeah, no, no. Because the game's Shadow writing is like just that. that good. You see, no, I have a theory that the writers for this game and Colors and Lost World—they just fucking hate Tails. They just don't like him. Hey, That's my theory. I can see it. <laughs> I can I can genuinely see the corporate he, he, mandate. I, Cut down on side <laughs> characters, keep Sonic and Tails. And they're like, fuck, what do we do with Tails? Buddy. That was the last fist bump. Yeah, that was the more and more last fist bump. Oh, but we missed it. We didn't appreciate the moment when we had it. Oh god. God, we're bastards. But yeah. Oh, there uh, goes our I, I blame you for I blame you for having your character. <laughs> And that's the end. He 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 ho. Jack Frost. <laughs> he crashed and died, and then we never saw him ever again. It, uh, it, you see, the whole thing was is that it was actually Ness, and then he died and became Sans. That was the story of Sonic Forces. Okay, bye.